I'd like to show you two simple chemical reactions, the dissolving of salts in water. Here I have ammonium chloride, and I'm going to dissolve that in water. I'm going to do it and measure the temperature change as the salt dissolves. So here's ammonium chloride dissolving, and you'll notice as it dissolves, the temperature drops. The surroundings decrease in temperature. That's because this is an endothermic chemical reaction. As the salt dissolves, it absorbs energy from the surroundings. We're measuring the surroundings, and we see their temperature drop. Now let's look at another salt, calcium chloride. I'll dissolve that in water. And notice as this reaction goes, as this salt dissolves, energy is released. This is an exothermic chemical reaction. Now both of these chemical reactions, the dissolving of these salts, proceeded spontaneously. That is, the natural thing to happen, the natural direction, was forward towards dissolving the salts, towards the salts in aqueous solution. But the energy was not a good predictor. One absorbed energy as it proceeded forward, the other released energy as it proceeded forward. So there has to be another thermodynamic parameter that will predict what's the forward direction for chemical reactions. What's the preferred way the chemical reactions will go? We need to find that thermodynamic parameter, and that's the subject of this lesson.